everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm brooke if you're new here and today it's officially the last day of 2021 i'm actually super excited for 2022 because i have a lot of plans which i'll be talking about in this video but in today's video i'm going to be organizing all my makeup stuff because i know people like watching cleaning videos and i kind of like them too so i thought it'd be fun and i could just sit down and like talk to you guys about like my new year's resolutions for 2022 because i thought that'd be super fun and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video and have a great New Year's Eve. I'm not sure if this video will go up today because I'm currently filming this. It's like almost 5, I think. Yeah, it's like almost 5. So I don't know if I'll um, upload it today, like be able to edit it and upload today or upload it tomorrow. But either way, happy 2022. Love you guys. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is like empty out all my things because I have this big caboodle filled with makeup stuff. And then I have this makeup pouch, this makeup pouch, this makeup pouch, and then I got this whole big new thing with a bunch of makeup in it, and I got new brushes, which I kind of already opened. So yeah, I'll be like emptying everything out, and also I know I'm not filming like with my like lighting setup thing and like where I filmed the last video with my new lighting setup but I just thought sitting here would be better and I found a place to prop my phone and I just thought it could be like a kind of chill type video. So well as I'm emptying everything out I'm going to be talking about um some things I want to do in 2022 and so the first thing I have on my list is to walk 10,000 steps every day and so i have a fitbit i got um i had like i think it was the versa light and now i have the fitbit lux um i really like it so far i got it for christmas um oh as you guys probably saw in my christmas video i really want to walk 10k steps every day because i thought it would just be like walking is good for you and you should be walking 10,000 steps every day because that's like what three three miles i think i'm not sure i think three miles um, but walking that amount is good for you, and I want to try and get in the habit of doing so. I finished emptying my caboodle, so here's what it looks like, completely empty, and then there's the mirror right there. And as I was saying, I want to walk 10k steps every day, and just walking that amount is super good for you to do every single day, and especially if you don't, like, exercise a ton, um... It's good to at least have that goal, and I think everyone should be walking 10k steps every day. But anyways, so the next thing I have on my list is to lose 20 pounds. Now, this may vary because I actually, I don't know, I kind of struggle with low self-esteem. And I'm going to try and work on myself a lot during 2022. And the 20 pound thing varies because... I really, really want to lose 20 pounds, but at the same time, I want to learn to love myself as I am, because I am a healthy weight, but I mean, there is room to like lose weight, but I, I like I said, I am a healthy weight, so, but if um, losing that weight will help me love myself more, I mean, why shouldn't I do it? So, it's kind of like hit or miss, I guess, if I end up loving myself without losing the 20 pounds, then that's really good. And if I have to lose the 20 pounds to be able to love myself, then that happens. So it just kind of varies, like I said. Um, and then the next thing I have on my list is to get a job because I, okay, I wanted to get a job over the summer. I put in an application and they literally never called me back. And by that time, it was like time for like marching band stuff because literally all of August, like the whole month I had marching band stuff. So I was just like, oh, I'll wait till after that. And then school started getting like really hard and stressful and I just had so much work and I was just like, I cannot like do a job right now. Like that'll just be like way too much. And um, I feel like, so I'll be taking midterms. I go back on Monday, which is the January 3rd. I'll be taking midterms like all next week. So after that point, I feel like I might be like, okay. Cause my only other things that like, that are like, I like other big, big tests that I have the rest of the year are like my, um, finals and my, um, my SAT cause I'm a junior. 
But other than that, I don't really have like any other big tests. And I feel like around this time, like stuff starts to slow down and stuff like that. I could be wrong, but at the same time, I just really need to get a job because I need to save money for college because I will be paying um, for college myself. And I'm hoping also like sign up for like some scholarships over the summer since I'll be a senior next year. And then the next thing on my list is to get a permit. And now you're probably thinking, Aren't you 16? Yes, I am 16 and I never got my permit. Um, I'm just honestly super scared to drive. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird thing, I guess. I, I just feel super scared to drive and I've been trying to motivate, motivate myself to get my permit and it just hasn't happened. So I'm really, really, really hoping to get it before my 17th birthday. Um, we're, I'm gonna really, really try hard to be able to motivate myself to be able to get it. And the next thing I have on my list is to have birthdays for my phone when needed because I spend a lot of time on my phone more than I should. And I just think that sometimes I just really need a breather because sometimes I'll just go on my phone and do random stuff like whenever I'm bored. But there's like other stuff that, other stuff I could be doing that could benefit my mental health like reading or I like drawing like painting is really fun to me too so like there's many other things that i could do besides going on my phone when i'm bored but i mean like i have like games on my phone like i play like genshin impact on my phone and like look at instagram sometimes like that's fine but like i don't need to do that like all day like i should take a break and do other things so the next thing on my list is to um focus on school and studying things every day because I am, I am, like, the world's biggest procrastinator. I know, like, everybody says that. Sorry, I was just waiting until I opened these. These are the new makeup brushes I got. I think I showed this in my Christmas video. But anyways, um, I really want to focus on school more because... Oh, it comes with this really pretty pouch thing. Oh, okay. But because... I feel like I could have the potential to do better in school. I mean, I have straight A's don't currently, don't get me wrong, but by the end of the quarter, I always, like, mess things up, and I just, like, end up having, like, one B or something like that, and my grades go down, and, um, I'm honestly not that great of a test taker. I could, I always do amazing on my assignments, but my tests I just do really bad on, and I think that's because I have really bad studying skills, and I just, I feel like I need to start studying more, like, maybe, like, at least a week ahead of, like, when my exam is going to be. Um, because I feel like studying, like, the night before a test, like, that doesn't really work like some people think it will. And I kind of just want to get myself more prepared for college because I'm going to have to be studying all the time in college, like, no matter what. Like, studying, uh, like, a couple minutes every day. And sometimes I also have a study hall and sometimes I just get like really lazy and just like I just don't feel like doing anything but I think I'm gonna try and start using like my study hall to help and okay so I empty thing out this is my big pile of makeup like I said I really need to clean stuff out and then there's like some garbage over there and then here's everything empty so I have this um, silver thing that had all that makeup in and then I have this caboodle and then I have all my makeup bags over here so I'm gonna try and find a place to prop my phone so I can like organize stuff and show you guys stuff. So I'll be back in one sec. So I'm back, as you can see, and oh, I'm gonna like push this down a little bit so you guys can see like my big pile of makeup. And I know you can't like really see like my face very well, but I just thought that this would work better. And I'm gonna try and like split all this stuff like into like eyeshadow and like blah, whatever, like lipstick, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm going to try and do that and then decide what I want to get rid of. So, as I was saying in the last clip, how I was wanting to focus on school, the next thing I have on my list is to try and hang out with people more because I am honestly a super duper antisocial person and I just feel like I should hang out with people more because I do really have a lot of fun and... Like I said, sometimes I feel like down about myself and I feel like hanging out with people would just maybe make things a little bit better. So I don't know. I just feel like it'd be really important and to like grow like my relationships with people 
And it's always good to have like some social time because I've found myself this year a lot being like, I would have like nothing to do, but I would like say no to hanging out with people just because I didn't feel the motivation or I just felt like sad. Like I just felt like not myself. So I just decided to not do it. What the heck is this? Oh, it's an eyeshadow. I was so confused because I opened this new kit and I didn't even realize this was an eyeshadow. But anyway, so I'm really going to try hard to try and spend more time with my friends and like hang out and have fun because I was... This year mostly was pretty boring for me because I didn't really do much and I kind of just laid in my bed and just like played on my phone and stuff and that's not the kind of life I want to live. So I really want to try and better improve myself and my mental health and um, like I said, just hang out with people more and go out and have fun because I deserve that. I deserve to have fun after all the hard work I put in at school and how I'm going to be like getting a job soon. Like I deserve to have that time to hang out with my friends. Also, my um, friend bought me this for Christmas. This is a Nightmare for Christmas color pop palette and it's literally so pretty. I have to show you guys. Um, I can get out of this packaging. Look how pretty. I used it once and the colors are literally gorgeous. Okay. Anyways. The next thing I have on my list is actually, this is the last thing I have on my list. Um, I want to I'm going to try and take a photography photo every day. I feel like that'd be super fun. And I really, I've been like getting into photography more lately. And I just kind of want to see like what I can come up with like every day. And I feel like that'll be like a fun little challenge for me to do every single day. And I actually created a Visco for it, like to post my photography. So um, if you guys want to follow my Visco, I'll put it in the description below and I'll probably stay there. Like I'll keep it there in every single video. But um, yeah, I'm turning into one of those Visco girls, I guess. But I've just like never had a Visco before and I just thought it'd be cool to create one. And I like how it's like completely anonymous so I can just like post whatever I want and kind of like not feel like bad about what I'm posting or anything like that because I know like with Instagram I end up feeling like bad sometimes about like what I'm posting like I get like insecure because I'm like oh my gosh all my friends from like school are seeing this like and I look really bad in this photo I'm just gonna like delete it like I don't like the way I look but like like a day ago you literally loved that photo but now like now that you think about how everyone from your school seeing it you feel insecure so i just thought that i'd like to um post my photography on there because i won't feel like anyone's judging me because like i said it's completely anonymous you don't know like who your followers are it's also especially nice if you're like insecure and like want to still post pictures but not feel like super bad then i guess visco would be a good place for you i might still post a few pictures of me um, cause like I said, I, I haven't given out like my Instagram or anything like on this cause my, I have a private Instagram, but, um, so if you guys want to see like a few photos of me and like all my photography stuff, then I'll be posting that stuff on my Visco. Like I said, I'll link it down below. But anyway, those are like all of my things that I want to do this year. So I'll show you guys what I currently have going on right here. So I have like my eyeshadows and then I have some like lip glosses and then there's a bronzer and I have some mascaras and then uh, a blush. And this is like nail stuff and like some lotion that got like mixed in and this is like a mirror thing. So I kind of off to the side and I don't know what else I'm going to talk about for the rest of this video. Oh, <laughs> funny story about this car key. So I got this car key for my 16th birthday, right? It's to my stepdad's old truck. So I have the key to whoever owns that car now because we got rid of that car because there's a lot of problems with it. I was actually going to drive that car like that was going to be my car. But, you know, it just, you know, we got rid of it. So I just I just have the key to that person's car now. So anyway, and I also found this keychain, this Isabel keychain. I think it was supposed to go like on like my car keys, like whenever I started driving. And honestly, it's super cute and it probably will. What the heck is this? Oh, lip liner pencil. That's kind of cool. I've never used one of these before. Oh, and I have nail clippers. I actually need these. Cause I always like, we only have like two nail clippers and they're like both upstairs and it's like annoying to walk upstairs just to cut my nails. So this will be nice. And, um, here's my color corrector palette. I think I'm just going to put that off to the side. Okay. 
I think I'm going to time lapse me separating the stuff and then come back to show you guys the finished product. So here's everything I have. Here's like my extra like some nail stuff I found in there because it didn't fit in like the other pouch I have for nail stuff. And I have this sharpener and then I have these mirrors and then I had like my phone propped up on that box that's actually garbage. But and then I have like my eyeliners and a couple mascaras and then I have all my new makeup brushes. And then I have a bunch of lip stuff. As you can see, I have so much. And then I have, like, my bronzers, my blush, like, my color corrector over there. And then here's, like, my foundation because I have this one. And then I have this new one I haven't opened yet. And then I have all my eyeshadows. So, yeah, I'm just kind of going to, like, organize everything. Kind of, like, show you guys all what I have. And then, like, decide, like, what I'm throwing away. And so this is the stuff that I'm... This is, like, the throwaway pile. And I'm throwing away, like, all this because they're, like, three years old. And I, like, just, like, shouldn't be using them anymore. So, yeah, I'm kind of just going to, like, decide where I want to put everything. So, I think I'm going to be putting my brushes in this top compartment of the caboodle. I'm going to take this out. And I think I'm going to put them in here. Make them all nice and organized. Also, they're, like, super duper pretty. Um, I got these, like, little tiny eye, um eyeshadow brushes in that like other kit that came in here um i'm not sure if i'm actually gonna put makeup in here it depends if i can fit everything in those makeup bags and if i can't then i might use this for something else i might actually paint it and do something with that i might and you might i might do that like for a video like paint that or and use it like for something so stay tuned for that video i guess if i end up doing it and so there's all the brushes um I'm going to put these here because I know I'll end up forgetting about them. I might be able to fit, like, something else in here. I'm going to put my um, foundations right here. This is the one I haven't opened yet. But, well, if you want to see, like, what um, foundation I use, I use Clinique foundation and concealer. And here's, like, the shade. If it'll focus. I think it just says fair on it, though. I don't think it has, like, a... Or maybe, like, a number or something. I can't get it to focus. But, yeah, this is the foundation I've been using since, like, I got foundation. Like, I've always used this kind. Okay, so now we're going to put this back here. And then I think... Hmm, I'm on, like, my mini um, eyeshadows. So I got a bunch of these new ones. And this is, a thing, I think, a cream eyeshadow. I can't get it to focus. But, yeah, I think I'm going to put these little ones here. And then here's another one that I got in that new set. And I'm kind of just going to show you guys what I'm putting in there as I'm going. And obviously I'm not getting rid of these ones yet because, um, you know, I just got them. Here's some more. I want to know how pigmented these are. I'm excited to find out. Oh, I might have to stack these ones. I'm going to see if this will still close. Oh, shoot. It's not going to. Okay, well, I might have to do a change of plans with that. I think it's because of these ones. I think I'm going to have to move these ones. I think those ones... No, never mind. I think it's because I have these ones stacked, maybe. Like, maybe just, like, line these up. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. Then... Oh, I can put the mini ones here. Can fit those right there. That'd be perfect for... Perfect spot for them. Okay, so I originally had all my lip stuff here, and I think I'm going to put... That's where I'm going to put it. So we're going to, like, go through it. I'm definitely keeping this one, because this one's, like, my favorite. I use it all the time. I really like liquid lipsticks. This one's from Ulta Beauty, as you can see. Um, I don't know if, like, it has, like, a shade thing on it or anything. Like, what shade it is. I don't know. But, um... I didn't have my lip liner, liquid lip liners in here, like, before. Like, I had them in my, um, other bags. So, I'm actually gonna leave this out for right now. Just to see, like, how I'm gonna fit everything. And then, I have these, like, Victoria's Secret, um, flavored lip glosses. But, like, I don't use all of them. And I have, like, a bunch of them. So, I think I might get rid of some. I just got this one for Christmas. So, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Um... Oh, this one's from Justice. We are getting rid of that. This one's from Justice, too. We're getting rid of that. This one I also just got, so obviously going to keep that one. Um, hmm. I think that's all, like, the... Oh, here's this one, too. Um, here's another Justice thing. 
So, I don't know which one out of these I should keep. I feel like I should keep... Um, hmm. <laughs> these all came, like, in a set. I feel bad, like, getting rid of them because they were, like, kind of expensive. But they're, like, super old. I think I'm going to keep the pink one and the white one. I think I'm going to get rid of these two. I'll ask my mom if she, like, wants any of this stuff before I throw everything away. And then I'm going to keep this because I really like it, too. It's Peekaboo by Victoria's Secret. It's flavored lip gloss. I use this one a lot, too. Um, this is from Justice. Definitely getting rid of. Um... I like, I use this one a lot too. Like I said, I use my um, liquid lipsticks a lot. Well, this one's a lip shine. This is Color Gloss by Victoria's Secret. And then I just got this new lip gloss right here. So obviously going to keep that one. And then I got the, I have these. These aren't from like Justice or anything. They're kind of pretty. Hmm. I think I'm just going to, they're kind of old though. So I think I'm just going to keep this one because I already have, well, I think I'll keep the purple one too maybe. Um, just because I already have the pink one and the Victoria's Secret one, I think I'll keep those two and get rid of this one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one, too. Okay. <laughs> then I have this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. I don't really like this. I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't really like it that much and I, like, never use it. Then I have this, like, EOS, like, lip thing. Like, I think it's, like, supposed to, like, help your lips. So, I have two of them. So, I think I'm just going to keep one of them and get rid of the other one. Um, oh, I can, like, smell that. And then I'm going to keep these lip pencils, of course, because I just got them. And, um, do I want this shade? Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really wear pink lipstick. If I wear, like, an actual lipstick, I wear, like, red lipstick. So, I think we're going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to keep my red lipstick. And I'm going to keep this because I got it in a new set. And I like this color, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this one's a new one, too, so obviously going to keep it. Um, this one's new. This one's new. These ones are old. Um, like I said, I don't really wear pink lipstick, so we're going to get rid of that one. This one's like a purplish. I think we're going to keep that one just because I might like end up needing it. I kind of like this one. Mm, I think we're going to keep it. Um, oh, I have a second one of this. This one's not even open. This one's like a different color, though. Maybe I'll end up liking this one better. But I don't even think I ever opened it. It's not even opened. So we're definitely going to keep that. Um, we're going to get rid of that one. I don't wear that. Um... This one's, like, a dark purple, so we're going to keep it. And this one, I have, like, other, another red lipstick, so we're going to get rid of that. I got rid of, like, nothing in that section. So, might have to, like, re-go through it because, um, so I'm going to organize and put everything in here, and I'll be back. I felt like some of the liquid lipsticks in there and, like, my other lipsticks... I couldn't fit this one in there because it's, like, freakishly large. So, hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these ones yet. So, I think we're just going to push these off to the side. Because I might... Oh, these are the ones I'm getting rid of, I think. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. This is... This is the stuff I'm getting rid of. Okay. So, I'm going to put this stuff over with, like, the trash pile, which quote-unquote trash pile because i don't know if my mom wants to keep any of this stuff probably not like the justice one but she might want the victoria's secret lip glosses maybe um but we're gonna push this stuff off to the side for right now because i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it um so i think i should move on to the eyeshadows because i'm gonna try and see if i can fit all of them in here if i am keeping all of them so let's look at this one first this smashbox the colors are pretty in this, but I feel like I have most of these colors in, like, the Jack Skellington, um, palette. So, this is gonna go in, I think, the Get Rid Of, we're gonna say. This palette is just really ugly. Like, it just looks like it's bad quality, and I don't think I've, like, I probably use it, like, one time, and I just, like, don't like it. So, I think we're gonna get rid of it. And also, I don't really like those colors. Um, this one I just bought. Um, I really like this palette, actually. This is the Teddy Bear palette. I think I showed you guys this in one video. I really like this palette, and I use it, like, all the time. So we're definitely keeping that one. Um, Plum Pop by Ulta Beauty. I kind of like these uh, colors. I think I'm going to keep this one. 
And then we have Bronze Burst by Ulta Beauty. Um, I think we're going to keep that one, too. Um, then we have another Smashbox one. I'm going to open this one. This one's all, like, neutral colors. Um, I think we're going to keep this one, too. Because I think I've used that. I think I used that one more than the other one. Oh, I have this, like, Elf Lip Palette. That should have gone with, like, my lip stuff. But I'm going to put it in here because it's, like, a palette thing. And I'm definitely going to keep this, I'm pretty sure. I can't even, like, open it one-handed. But I'm keeping this. Um, I'm obviously keeping this ColourPop palette that I just received. And I have this little palette right here. Uh, uh, do I want it? I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. Let me look at the colors in this palette really quick. If I can get it open. Uh, it's hard to open things one-handed. I can't. I can't. Oh. See, look how vibrant and pretty the... Oh. One of these just popped on out of there, did it? <laughs> I think we're going to get rid of this one. We're going we're gonna to get rid of it. And then I love this palette as well. I use this palette like literally all the time. And it has like highlighters and stuff in it. So definitely keeping this one. The the top for it like came off. So and I just got the, I just got this palette too, which I showed you guys um before. And so definitely keeping that. And I'm gonna have to part with this because I've literally had this palette. This is my first ever like piece of makeup, like my first ever makeup palette. Definitely gonna have to part with it because the mute, the makeup in it is so freaking old and it's not even pigmented like at all. So we're gonna have to part with it. And I'm, these are like my eye glitters and I'm definitely keeping these because I just got them and they're like super pretty. So this is the palette, these are the palettes that I'm gonna get rid of. So we're gonna put this in the quote unquote garbage pile over here. Okay, and then I'm going to organize everything. Try and organize these and get them all to fit. So we're going to put this one on the bottom, I think. Um, then we're going to put in this one. I don't know if they're all going to fit. I'm really, really going to try. And then we're going to put the Dark Skellington one right there. And then we'll put my little um, sparkly palette right here. And then we're going to put the lip palette right there. And my two Ulta Beauty palettes here. And then we're going to put this Smashbox one here. And my Teddy Bear palette here. And there, I got all of them to fit. So, and then I am going to, here is my, um, like, eye stuff. Or not, yeah. So I have two of these. Well, they came in, like, one set, so I'm keeping these. And then I have my liquid liner, which obviously I'm keeping. Um, but I can probably part with some of these. Um, these two are the exact same. Um, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, wait, that one's Neutrogena. This one's CoverGirl. I'm keeping the CoverGirl one. I hate this one, so we're getting rid of it. Um, I think I, I may use this one, like, in a very long time. And I don't like this one either. I don't like the Neutrogena one, so we're just gonna keep these ones. And I don't think I've used this one in a while, so we're gonna keep it and see if I like it. But I do like the color CoverGirl one. Um, this is the one I have, the CoverGirl and this is the Neutrogena one, in case anyone wants to look at them. And I have the e.l.f. lip code lip liner. And then I have... I think these are CoverGirl too. Oh, no, they're... No, Color Stay. Oh, Revlon. They're Revlon. So I can probably fit these in here with my other um, eye stuff. Okay, and then I think that's all I'm going to be able to fit in here. So we're going to move on to a makeup bag. So I'm going to close this up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to use the Animal Crossing one. And I think... Hmm. Should I put my lip stuff in there? I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put my lip stuff in here first. And then go through my, my last few things that I have left. So, I think I'm just going to zipper this one up and have it, like, as extra lip stuff. And I'm going to use the gold one for my last few items I have over here. So, I have this Justice Bronzer that I'm getting rid of. This Sephora blush I'm definitely keeping. This blush I just got, so we're keeping it. Same with this one. Same with this one. And I have this blush, this Maybelline one. Mm, I don't really like it, so I think we're going to get rid of it. And then I have this bronzer that I just got, so we're definitely keeping it. Then I have this matte poreless powder. I haven't really used it all that much, but um, I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of it. 
And I have this color corrector that I really like, and I'm definitely going to keep it. So we're going to put those in this bag right here. Awkward silence. So yeah, I have this donut bag left, and then I have this big box, which like I said, I think I'm thinking about painting it and maybe using it for something else besides makeup. So yeah, I think that is going to be the end of this video. Here is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. I'll show you. It's actually not that much, <laughs> but I really tried. Like, I can't like part with some like my makeup stuff because I use it like all the time and I just like don't want to part with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this like little cleaning video. I thought it was like kind of fun and like a way to like be organized and be productive throughout my last day of 2021. And yeah, like I said, I hope you guys have an amazing year and I'm super excited to see what this year brings and I love you all so, so much. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next.